Hey everyone, Fifi here and welcome to today's YouTube video. And today uh, we are playing the Arena Open Day 2. We're currently 3-1 and one, and our goal is to get to 7 wins before we get to 2 losses. So you can check the previous videos to see how our batches win and a more in-depth explanation of the deck. But the gist of it is that I'm playing a blue-red deck, a uh, red epiphany, I think this is the best deck in the format, and it's tweaked towards beating creatures. So it has, you know, too many decks in classes and stuff because I think people are going to play mono-white a lot. And that's basically it. And so if you want, make sure to check out the previous video uh, with the last four matches to see how we got to 3 and 1. And also make sure to check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash pvdvr. And there you can support my work and get some extra perks on top of it. Such as, for example, this deck list before the tournament even started. Right? Um, so yeah, let's see if we can get, uh, you know, at least three more wins before we get a loss. Because six wins is already a good price. Right? Six wins is already the, the cutoff for money. Um, and seven wins is for all the money. Right? For, for 2k. So the goal is seven wins, but can't really be upset with six. Especially because I think our loss, our loss is actually quite interesting because I think I could potentially have won if I I didn't realize something. It was like super important that I missed it. And I don't know if it, it would have caused me to play the game differently, but it, it was it was very interesting. It was a very humbling moment. So uh, you can go back and check if you. Want. This is what problem with not knowing what my opponent's playing, right? Again, it, we run into this a lot, but with this type of reactive deck, th this will make this type of deck worse, right? If I'm playing mono green, well then I'm just gonna keep the cards that I want to keep and whatever, right? Even though there's Blizzard Brawl and stuff, but I'm just gonna keep a curve and I'll be happy. This these two cards could be the best card and the worst card in my deck of my deck in different matchups. Right, they could be the literal best card and the literal worst. So it's pretty tricky, right? Do I, which one do I want to keep? And I think I'm just gonna bin this Daneful Stroke here because I'm. Uh, maybe I should bin the Fading Hope, and hope that I'm playing it like exactly mono white, because I already have the Demon Boat and the Iteration to deal with early stuff, and like I'm on the play. If I were in the draw, I would probably have kept the Fading Hope here, but like it looks like I might actually have a window to Disdainful Stroke something from my Mono Green opponent. Like if they play a Chariot or something. Obviously, the bounce is better versus Mono Green, right? But it is all just a hedge. Should I play Swamp here? No, sorry, not Swamp Mountain. Because then I can play, like if they play a, a Troll or something, I can go Demon Bolt. Like I can copy Demon Bolt and play it, like, or another Wolf. Or something. I think it's worth it. But obviously, I regret not having the bounce spell, right? But yeah, I'm just gonna kill both. That will give them a win, but I think it's fine. Especially because I can counter a, an expensive spell. I really like Demon Bolt because of exactly this sequence. This guy's very good. This troll. Let's give my opponent lands here. I can give any iteration a spike field hazard. Ooh, now this is interesting. Which one do I use? I think I just use disruption here because they might just have another one. They might have a chariot. That I wanted as Dainful Stroke. It is kind of awkward that this is my only blue source. So, like, okay, it ended up being the same. Ooh, this was a good draw, but what do I do here? I mean, do I just wait? It was a reasonable draw. I guess it wasn't good. If I, if I could wait for seven mana, that would be great. I don't think making three devils is really what I want to do here. Okay. I maybe should have just used this. So they can grow this and still attack with one. I don't have double blue, or I could just bounce both. 
This is tricky because like I want this is this was so much worse here than another of the draw spells. Well not the one that cost double blue. But I think I'm just gonna windfall discarding the burn down the house and play the fading hope. Like or I could windfall discarding the fading hope and, and like the keep the burn down the house, but I think that's actually just worse. Do I want that? No, right? I mean, I, I want blue sources, but I have the iteration to hopefully find land. Ooh, this is good, because depending on how they stack things... So let's see what we hit here. We didn't hit a blue, an untapped blue land, which was kind of bad for us, because we might just have to lose all our treasures here. Do I want the divide by zero, or just the other iteration in my hand? I think I just want the other iteration in my hand, actually. I mean, we still have the ability to Cinderclasm, like copy a Cinderclasm, depending on what they do. But we'll try, it might not succeed. Like if they have the pump spell. I think we have to try. I mean, we could just bounce the chariot, but I think we're, I think we have to go for it. Oh, I can't! I'm short a land. Because this costs three and this costs three. Oops. Maybe I should have countered the troll. Now if they have Snakeskin Veil, I'm in a lot of trouble. I should have just countered the troll. That was really bad. Yeah, this just threw away the game, I think. Like, obviously Veil would have been good here anyway, but not game winning. I guess. I guess this is what I want. Yeah, this is so awkward. I really, really needed to have counter destroy instead. So I have five, six. Which one do I want in my hand? Probably the iteration. Now I'm dead to Snake Skin Veil or the Pump Spell. So like I'm super dead. Yeah, that that was just really, really bad by me. Like, what do I even do now? They just play Chariot. And like, that's just enough. And they get to play Chariot and something else, they have six mana. Yeah, this was pretty awkward. Should I just cast this and hope? Like I can draw burn down the house. Blue step this. Mm. I mean I can't, it's not good enough, right? All right. Wow, that was bad by me. Yeah, it was really just the miscounting. Like, I thought I would need five mana to do that, and I needed six, and that was just it. Right? I don't want this thing for stroke. This thing for stroke was actually good that game, but it doesn't mean I want it. Am I able to play? This is what I want. Eh, seems reasonable. Yeah, so again, what I really should have done was counter that troll, and that would have 
translated into a lot less damage the following turn. I guess maybe not. Maybe it would not have made that much difference. If I just counter the troll, like the chariot gets to attack. And he attacks for four, it makes it. Yeah, it would not have mattered that much. I want to keep a basic in my hand for us now, but I might not be able to because I might need to like things might work out in a way where I can't do that. We'll see. Well, we're just gonna play a bunch of eggs, I guess. And all we have is mono eggs, which I think maybe should be pretty good. Um, I want to bounce that, but I also <laughs> want to play this Hollow Storm Giant. I think I have to play this. I don't have to bounce it, but like it would be really helpful depending on what they have. Yeah, bounce it. Oh my god, this gnar, it's here. I should have known. I didn't have to play the egg there. All right, good. And yeah, I'm just gonna cast this for a fort because you know I want the counters on these things, and they're just very likely to flip next turn, right? So I'm in pretty good spot. Well, I guess they're not gonna flip. I don't want the spike go hazard. Okay. I'm still in a good spot. Like, they didn't play a Lin last turn. So unless they just go off with some fighting spells here. Like, they need to have a lot of them. Tilt. Because I have I got nothing else. God. <sighs> oh, that was actually good. Because it'll, it'll let me flip my thing. I need to draw a spell here so I can kill this sculptor. Oh yeah, if I cast this first, that works, right? <laughs> I don't have red, but... I could bounce the troll. I think that's reasonable. Oh, they might have... Snake Skin Veil. So I'm probably going to shoot them and target this. Then if they veil, I can respond. Maybe I'd rather have a spell, but given that I could just bot like activating this all the storm giants is gonna be as good as playing this dragon, I think. So there's no way I die here, right? Like if they just double everything, they they deal eight. Yeah, I'm not, there's no way I'm dead. Oh, I can even animate the hole to block. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Okay, so now that I'm on the draw, iteration is worse. Burn right another house is better, I think. Cinderclasm is a bit better as well. But the Cinderclasm is good with Galvanic Iteration. I guess I can take out a Spikefield Hazard as well. 
because like it doesn't really kill anything and I'm on the draw and just have another hydration like I do have a bunch of burning hands and stuff but I would like another cinder class maybe I can cut up burn down the house instead burn down the house can be very good though yeah, I don't know how to sideboard here. I should have thought about this before I submitted my deck, but you know. I just made some changes and it wasn't super clear what I mean they have a bunch of blizzard brawls. Maybe I just don't even want these eggs. No, but the egg is still like very good, and they probably have like one blizzard brawl. Right, they're not gonna have four. They did see a bunch of eggs though. So like could I try to lazzle them here? Just not have any of this stuff. We're basically back to game one then. Except they have like more snakeskin veils and I have some more burning hands. This might be my best bet. The gold spend dragon I think is still okay. The hold, spike of hazard, duration, duration. Is this reasonable? Like, did they have one Blizzard Brawl that they draw, or did they just have a lot of Blizzard Brawls? Because I played three eggs and a Goldspin Dragon. So they are going to have these cards in their decks. Maybe I just should not even have this one. But this one is easy to protect, like with like Fading Hope and stuff. Alright, let's do this. If they keep a bunch of blizzard rolls, I think I, I think this is a keep. Oh, I was just gonna play exploration here, but now that I drew the disruption, I'm just gonna pass. And hopefully have the chance to disrupt whatever they play. I mean, I'll disrupt anything. Yep, that. <laughs> Literally anything. Oh, see, this is why you don't play your basic. Should I respond? Why do I want to ditch the iteration? I mean, I'm gonna play Burn Down the House and Fading Hope. Potentially. Iteration can be good. Maybe I just don't want the mascot exhibition. Yeah. But the, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have kept the exhibition, but like if I'm trying to play around this fight spells, I figured maybe I would just clear the board and just not have enough later on. Actually, I can let that attack and bounce the token? No, I think I'd rather bounce it. 
like I'm not that desperate for it, just crying here. I think I would rather preserve my life total. Oh, I dig for some stuff. So what do I want in my hand? Probably like the... <laughs> the duration? And then like I put the burning hands there and just kill a token. It's kind of awkward because I don't want to cast the, any of anything here. Or maybe I just don't? Like my opponent is constrained on lands, right? Like I want to get stuff going this turn. I just want to play this. Oh my god. I mean... It's kind of awkward, but I mean, we, it's what we have to do, right? That's a good draw. So we can go Iteration, Behold, and then still just Fading Hope that and attack. Or we can copy the Fading Hope, but I think copying the Behold is better. I don't think we want another Iteration. We certainly don't want those either. Okay, this was somewhat of an anticlimactic two turns, and I, and I even lost my mascot exhibition here. I'm gonna get the draw too, though. So if I bounce that, they'll be at five cards. I can loot the Cinderclasm away. If I draw a land. If I draw something that I can play, I can play that. But it's still worth it, probably. I'll just drop two. Yeah. Unfortunate. Wait, if it, it have four. Oh, yeah, no, it works. Never mind, I'm stupid. Do I want to play both? We're going to skip this. Like, it's a draw three. Is this worth more than this in the graveyard? I still have to win the game, though. Oh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it. And it's, this is only gonna be two, right? The next one is only two. I forgot.
So this should be enough to win? Uh oh, now they have the... The snakeskin veil up. Maybe it's not gonna be enough to win. I mean, I do have this Hall of Storm Giants over here. Yeah, I was gonna play Burn Out the House and Dragon and attack. Whew, that was that was something. I got kind of lucky that they were stuck on lands and things broke out well for me. Like they, but at the same time, like they might, they had too many gunky cards in their deck. I think, like they had Ran and the Enchantment and Chariot. Like that's a lot. So we need three more. We're the max price. Like I, when I I don't like having too many expensive cards versus the easy deck because I think like they can bounce and they have zero and they can like take you out sometimes. I've been mulliganing a lot. This deck has like thirty mana sources. It should not mulligan this much. I'm gonna, this is a keep if I think I'm gonna be bouncing things and like my senior class is on, but. I can't know that. Right, if they just don't play a turn one creature, I just do nothing in turn two. Yeah, I have to mulligan this, unfortunately. All right, iteration is a pretty good way of getting back in it, though. So I'm definitely beating one galvanic iteration and maybe the two warrior disruption. Maybe I keep the iteration and the sinner class. Like, I'm definitely keeping these three and the sooner class I think because it's a way of getting back in the game right the question is what is my remaining card is it the second iteration or is it or the first iteration rather or is it the Jawari disruption here I mean I think I've just been both iterations my iteration mean galvanic iteration I could even split this on turn one but I don't think so Well, now I wish I kept the Galvanic Iteration. So I'm not gonna counter anything on turn two. I might as well just fork out this. So it's like immune to any discard spell they have. This is, disruption is good versus this deck, like up to many turns in front. Like if they play Deadly Dispute, I would counter it. But yeah, that is all fun. Like I can send their Clasmid all the way. The question is, like now they, they might play the Merchant. But I think I have to play this, I can't miss a land drop. If I had if I had drawn a land, I would not have played it. I just waited. So they're gonna deal the damage and then sack the token? I'm fine with that. I just wanted to not play the 1 4 here. Like, because that would threaten Loth next turn, and it's it, it, it might be a bit too much. Do I want to go just iteration into Cinder Class for one? Probably want to kill that. Like, I want to kill these three things, I think, for sure. But I don't know if I want to play the iteration here. Or if I want to like be able to disruption a, a, a lawful card, if I do it up, upkeep, I forgot I had this. Like if they have, they have to have deadly dispute into loft though for this to be bad for me, right? But it's pausing for them. They have something. I think this in my hand is best. So I'll just do upkeep, right? I think it's the best. Could do it at the end of the turn as well.
it does stop them from like playing more playing more one ones. Yeah, that might be worth it. Like they don't have a whole lot of force to play here, so like if I kill the eye twitch, they might just have something instead. I will take a lot of damage, but I think that is fine. I can do it under second main so they don't get a zombie. Then if they have something to play, they, they got me, right? They might have like another Jadar though. Maybe I'll give them the zombie. Like if they play another Jadar or Jadar or whatever it's called, it's gonna be bad. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do it. I think two life will matter. No, but they can still cast a star. Yeah, you can get your thing. I think that's totally fine. Yeah, if they want to play another one, I'm also fine with that. <laughs> oh, they looted, okay. I was a bit confused about what happened. I could play this disruption here. Like, it's unlikely I've got to disrupt anything. Or I could just play the mountain and discard it to the windfall, but I think I want to discard the center cloud. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play this. Like if they play something big, I'll divide by zero instead. If they play something small, I'll just play windfall and then cinder cloud. I have to sack treasures to play stuff here. Eh, I mean, maybe I just did the Shinder Clown here. Well, this wasn't very inspired. Are they gonna fill up right me? Oh, now I have to play the Epiphany. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping for a Galvanic Iteration somewhere in here, but... I think I should just play this, right? Wanna play this or play the hole? I think I just wanna play this. Eh, maybe not. I just want to play the hall here. So like if they field me, I have another one and yeah, I'll play this. Like I have loot, like the divide by zero can loot. If they play Meat Hook Massacre, that might be a little bit of an annoyance. I would just bounce it. I could have activated the hall to block, but I think I would rather just do this. I could just have chumped. Like, I lose both treasures if I want to activate the hall. I lose one. No, now I don't lose any treasures if I want to do it. So now I'm just, I can just block. 
They can field of ruin in response, but if I do pre combat, if they field of ruin, they can't attack because they need to tap the faceless haven for it. But maybe I just want to get rid of one of their treasures in exchange for a bird. Like, because if I activate, they don't have to do it. They can just not attack. But then they wasted their turn, which is still pretty good for me. Maybe I should have just killed it last turn. Or tried to. I mean, they still had the, like, field and stuff. So I could just... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get the... This. It's tricky versus the... Like, it exposes me to more things. Whereas just getting, like, the card drawing... I'm just gonna get this. I have another divide by zero. I can then get the card drawing. So this is 18. So if they just play off and have nothing else, I win. And like I have I have a demon bolt to kill like a night witch or something. So do I just win? I think I should try to go for it, right? What can they do with one mana? <laughs> That's a reasonable wall to five game. So sideboarding versus this deck. I would certainly don't want this. I think Cinder Clasm is a better version of it. Do want this. Do want the Hermits, probably. Do want the Dragon. Don't want Fading Hopes. Do I want Test of Talents? Like it counters Deadly Dispute. Any discard spells they might have. I might want the Egg. Like, I don't want a lot of eggs. I think the spells are better, but, like, what am I going to do with all these removal spells? I still want some ways to answer. Like, Demon Boat seems okay because I can answer the 1 4 guy, the Merchant, I can answer Faceless Haven with it. But I'm really just trying to combo them out, I think. At which point, maybe I should have Test of Talents because they will have Duresses and Gold Blanks and stuff. No, I think this is okay. One egg? I think one egg is fine. Maybe a burn out of the house is better than the egg. No, I think the egg is better. Alright, we're keeping. This card is very good versus mono black in general, like if they try to attack your hand and stuff. Like, they have blood in this Nova for Test of Towns, but I, did, did they even keep that in their deck? Probably not. I don't know how their sideboard is configured. They're thinking about duressing me now? Or later? This is good because they don't know about it, so I don't want to play it on turn one. If they had seen it, I might. But like, they might just play a merchant on turn two, right? Or a gold blank, and then they can get it. This card is not that problematic. I mean, I have three spike fill hazards in my deck, plus the cinder clasm that will like kill it almost by accident.
I think I have to play this. I don't really want to play Divide by Zero on that because they just dis yeah, they could they could have dispute, but. I could send her Clasmin away. I'm not gonna play this. Because, not only because I have the disruption, but because if they just attack with Faceless Haven or something like that. Are they gonna play like Ebon Bath Draco Lich? I can disrupt that too. If they just attack with Faceless Haven, I can I can Deluge. Like they can attack by Limp Play Shade, right? Then I got to Deluge. Divide by zero the shade. Oh, I can, but I think Delich is better. Definitely want this. I mean, do I just want this permit? Do I want to take three to play gold span? I don't think so. Putting me to seven, I just die. I think I would just want this too. Are they gonna play like Blizz Chief's Thirst? Cause they could play that and play a spell, then it would be a problem. I didn't know just wanna pass the turn because they like they were like attack with their thing. Like if they play like Soul Shattered, I'm fine with that, right? I just don't want it to kill my thing and be able to attack and play something. I could block if they attack. <laughs> well, I don't think I want to. I think I would rather just be able to like counter their so shatter and stuff. I think I can block next turn. Maybe. Yeah, well, now if they play so shatter, I can Sack the Hermit and play the Warrior Disruptor so they didn't land and the Soul Shatter to kill my dragon. If they animate Haven and attack, I'm just gonna have to block, I think. But then I can divide by zero the Soul Shatter. Maybe I need the Bounce Spell for the Havens. I mean, I have Field of Ruins too for that. And like the Demon Bolts. I can just draw Epiphany and just go over the top of it, right? So it's not like that big a deal. It was sort of a big deal because it, the Shade just dealt so much damage to me early. If they sack the shambling gas to kill my hermit, I mean I can They know two of my cards. Right, so I just want to play Divide by Zero here. Get the thing that gets a land and gain some life. Getting life sounds great. Making a bunch of tokens sounds kind of great too, though. But I can do that with the next one. Because like, if I don't draw a land... I only have one mana up. I don't like that spot.
Interesting. Ooh, finally. Do have a soul shatter? This is why I tapped this, by the way. Instead of something else. Because <laughs> I thought this could be happening. So now I got an untapped land. As a freebie! Yeah, now I have this memory deluge still in the graveyard here. I think we're gonna win! <laughs> Not very far from winning. This dragon has been very good. Maybe Andre and Stan were out to something with with two dragons in the sideboard. I mean they have to know this is like what can this be? This card is if it was Epiphany I would have killed them, basically. If it was like counter spell they're super dead. They play Dispute, do I care? Could divide by zero it. I have nine mana though, if I divide by zero I can't play Deluge. I think I'm fine with this. Accept that. All right, GGs. So we're gonna end the video uh, for now and continue this tournament in the next video because otherwise it's gonna get a bit long. And as always, if you like my videos and wanna support my work a little bit more, make sure to check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash pvdbr and there you can support my work and get some extra perks on top of it. For example, I posted this deck that I was going to play uh, in the Discord channel for subs before the tournament started, right? So you could have played the same deck. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it ends up being good. And special thank you to my biggest supporters, Adam Racy, Adrian Camilleri, Foxy, Fernando Vizeu, John Jen, Igor Petrov, Jack Hart, Joey, Juan Chow, Kelvin Peng, Kevin Massey, Lawson, Mattia Giardini, Nate, Safi Weapon, Silvia Leticia, Stu Cameron, Thomas Poporni, and Dimitri. I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you next video.